Ladies and gentlemen, you could have been anywhere in the world tonight, but you're here with us in New York City. Are you ready for a cabinet meeting, huh? The issue on the table. Secretary Hamilton's plan to assume state debt and establish a national bank. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. These are wise words, enterprising men quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them. Ow! But Hamilton forgets. His plan would have the government assume states' debts. Now, place your bets as to who that benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Oh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? Um, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax the South, cause we got it made into shade. In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create. You just want to move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand, and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand. Stand with me in the land of the free, and pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidacy. Look, when Britain taxed our team, we got frisky. Imagine what gonna happen when you try to tax our whiskey. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present, we're running a real nation. Would you like to join us? Or stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you do in Monticello? If we assume the debts the union gets, a new line of credit, a financial diuretic, how do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost, you'd rather give it a sedative? A civics lesson for us labor, hey neighbor, your debts are paid cause you don't pay for labor. We plant seeds in the south, we create, yeah, keep ranching. We know who's really doing the planting. And another thing, Mr. Age of Enlightenment, don't lecture me about the war, you didn't fight in it. You'd think I'm frightened of you, man, we almost died in the trench while you were off getting high with the French. Thomas Jefferson always hesitant with the president. Red is it, there isn't a plan he doesn't jettison. Madison, you mad as a hatter, so take your medicine. Damn you in worse shape than the national debt is in. Sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over, I'll show you where my shoe fits. Excuse me. Madison, Jefferson, take a wall. Hamilton, take a wall. We'll reconvene after a brief recess. Hamilton. Sir. A word. You don't have the votes. You don't have the votes, ha 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 ha. You gonna need congressional approval and you don't have the votes. Such a blunder sometimes, it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? You wanna pull yourself together? I'm sorry, these Virginians are birds of a feather. Young man, I'm from Virginia, so watch your mouth. So we let Congress get held hostage by the South? You need the votes. No, we need bold strokes. We need this plan. No, you need to convince Marfolds. Well, James Madison won't talk to me. That's a non-starter. Ah, oh, winning was easy, young man. Governing's harder. They're being intransigent. You had to find a compromise. They don't have a plan. They just hate mine. Convince them otherwise. And what happens if I don't get congressional approval? I imagine they'll call for your removal. Sir. Figure it out, Alexander. That's an order from your commander.